Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and here's what I bring to you all from the world of medicine. Is thalidomide effective in treating recurrent small intestinal bleeding? Study insights. A recent multi-center double-blind randomized placebo-controlled trial investigated the efficacy and safety of thalidomide as a potential solution for recurrent bleeding due to small intestinal angiodysplasia or SIA. Thalidomide treatment significantly reduced recurrent bleeding in patients with small intestinal angiodysplasia with an effective response observed in 68.6% of those receiving 100 mg thalidomide and 51.0% of those receiving 50 mg compared to 16% in the placebo group. Aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code or access the link in the description box below. Can midlife estrogen therapy reduce dementia risk? Study finds. A new study has found that estrogen therapy taken during midlife may reduce the risk of developing dementia later in life. The study published in the journal Frontiers in Aging Neuroscience looked at data from over 7,68,000 women and found that those who took estrogen therapy in their 40s and 50s had a 32% lower risk of developing dementia compared to those who did not take estrogen therapy. Are face masks effective in reducing spread of respiratory viruses? Study finds. In a world still grappling with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, the role of face masks in preventing the spread of respiratory pathogens has been a subject of debate. A recent study highlights the strong evidence supporting the use of face masks in the fight against deadly pandemics. As viruses like the influenza virus and SARS-CoV-2 have shown, they can swiftly evolve into global pandemics when transmitted through respiratory routes. Face masks have proven effective in reducing the transmission of these pathogens. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.